What's going on everybody, Cal can come at you with a, another Pokemon Masters update video. If you guys are enjoying these, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, be sure to support now today. Um, if, I, if I sound a little funny, I apologize. I am um, still semi-recovering from the 28-hour stream I did for my 5-year part anniversary on Twitch. But, um, the Pokemon Masters Twitter had tweeted out that we're getting two new champions coming soon. The Indigo League Champion, Lance, and the Center League Champion, Cynthia Ragon Pasio, igniting a debate. Or which is the best who do you think is the best champion and right here uh i'm not gonna like play the video because i know a lot of times like when pokemon based stuff they um they tend to like take videos down but go through a little bit you can see lance interacting with rosa and uh in the background over here we have uh cynthia um and i'm excited uh, i've wanted cynthia uh for a while i know other people want lance and um Lance and Dragonite are looking to be a powerful sync pair, so let me know what you guys think about that down below in the description. Uh, now I'm going to be going over um, some other information, some data mine information. So if you don't really want spoilers regarding what events are coming up and when they're coming up, uh, you know, just go ahead and click away now. I wanted to cover this a little bit though, along with, um, you know, some other stuff we had. So if we go over here uh, to a Reddit page, um, I was discussing the the leaked information uh, from Game Press. Uh, we're gonna have Leaf and Eevee as a sync pair. Uh, Ethan and Typhlosion. I do believe this is gonna start out as a um, as a Cyndaquil. Uh, Lance and Dragonite, Cynthia Garchomp, and Cynthia and Mega Garchomp, as um, you know, a lot of people had expected because uh, Garchomp does uh, Mega Evolve. And new Super Course as well. Uh, super hard difficulty, but it's uh, co-op challenges. Uh, which gives you one star gear, silver cloth, fifty percent drop rate of elite four note. Now that's the biggest thing here. Um, a fifty percent drop rate of the E four note because that is what we need at this current point in time to uh, level cap our Pokemon further. Um, you know, past whatever their previous cap was, it varies depending on you know what star they are. Uh, for example, how how and Raichu can hit one fifteen. Um, your standard uh, five stars uh, hit one twenty, and um, you know other things like that. Getting the new EX challenges as well, getting How very hard, Janine very hard, and Claire very hard. Um, let's take a look at some of these uh, sync pairs though. Um, I looked at this earlier and I, it didn't have any like any images, but um, of the thing. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, here we have uh, Leaf right here, and her partner is going to be Eevee. Uh, it's a normal type, a weak versus fighting, as expected, because normal type only has one weak. It's going to be a support. Which is um, uh, very, very interesting. I don't know if this will ever evolve. Because um, at least to my knowledge, in, in, the, in, the, um, in the Pokemon manga, someone else... I think it was someone else had Eevee. But um, it was like a... It was like a rare Eevee that could like change forms at will. Like it, you could evolve into Flareon and then go back to Eevee. And then later go back to go to like Jolteon or something like that. I might be misremembering. But um, we have stats on them for level 100, obviously. Um, and down here, uh, we have, it has, uh, Tackle, uh, Potion, which heals. Uh, Tackle is a one bar cost. Uh, Iron Tail, which can lower the, uh, physical defense of a target. It's a three bar cost. And Let's Go increases the moves of all allied sync pairs, move gauge of all allied sync pairs by two. And Shrugger is the user's attack. Now, despite Eevee being a support, this could be fairly decent on Eevee if you want to attack with it. Granted, you're, the main thing is going to be, you know, supporting the team with the you know, uh, supporting a big physical attacker, uh, such as um, Olivia and and you know, something like that. Uh, sync move is interesting. Increase the user's move gauge by the sync, uh, sync move's current level. So what that means is, um, you know, the more powered up this sync pair is, um, the more move gauges you get restored. And then it sharper raises the attack, defense, special attack, special defense, accuracy of all allied sync pairs. Now, even at base zero, that's really, really good because it's extreme evo boost, so it gets uh, plus two to all the stats, to all sync pairs, which is really, really solid. And it's uh, it's passive, impervious, and stats cannot be lowered. So again, really, really solid support here on Eevee. Um, impervious is a fantastic, um, a fantastic a ability to have on paired with its sync move um so that that's very very nice for eevee in particular now we're going to take a look at ethan and typhlosion uh so let's take a look here uh fire type with the rock okay not reach the water or ground or anything like that 
interesting. Um, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here. Got some stats. Got the actually rankings on a lot of these, but not. Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Uh, burn uh, special attack up self and sunny gate sunny move gauge up. So first attack flamethrower uh, two bar uh, pretty standard X special attack again kind of standard on um, on more offensive units. Uh, we have eruption which the lower the HP uses HP has the less power um, the lower the power this move becomes which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure how that's gonna work in um, in like Pokemon Masters. Um, so uh, there is that with the um, yeah, depending on moves like AOE moves or I believe the bosses the AI is the target the bulkiest target and uh, Typhlosion ain't exactly bulky so ideally ideally this this comes off a uh, comes off hitting really really hard and let's stoke the fire I was always a bit of use of HP and raises the speed and evasiveness now this is solid um, because it raises your speed and your evasiveness and evasiveness is good because um, the higher the more evasive you are the harder it is to hit you the harder it is to hit you um, you know, it should keep your eruption base power high. And the sync move, no additional effect. And the passive is quickly charges the move gauge while their water is sunny. Um, you know, it's pretty okay uh, for the um, for the passive. Uh, as much as I I want to like this pair, I don't know. I don't know how much I like this. Um, it's kind of selfish DPS, um, but I don't think I think it'll be okay. I, I like, I, I don't know, hopefully. Uh, next up, Lance and Dragonite. Now, I read this one earlier, and this one, I was I was feeling okay about it, and then there was something I read, and I was like, okay, that's kind of strong. Uh, type Dragon, uh, Weak versus Ice, uh, Physical Striker. Got some stats here. Um, really high attack, really high special attack. Um, it's actually surprising that the special attack and the attack are, like, back-to-back, -back, but you'll see why in a, in a little bit here. Uh, HP up ally, uh, clinch immunity, and uh, process immunity. Dragon Claw, standard, um, just attack an opponent for two bar. We got Potion, so it's a bit of allies HP. Again, that's okay. Uh, we have Hyper Beam, no additional effect. It's a four, gar four bar cost, but um, no recharge time in this game, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, now or never, increase the user's move gauge by six, then the user takes damage equal to half its remaining HP. So this, combined with Potion, um, you know, it makes it pretty nice. It's also half of the user's current HP, which is, I think is really, really relevant, as opposed to, you know, half of the their total HP. So, like, if you have, you know, if you're at half HP, it's only going to take take half of your HP away from there, which is which is overall a fourth of your total HP, which is really great. Um, signature move, uh, unrivaled outrage. It's okay. And then its ability um, is Dragon Shift, makes normal moves Dragon type move. So. That means Hyper Beam is going to become a Dragon type move, and it's going to be hitting pretty darn hard. Um, four move gauge. I'm not really too fond of that overall. It can kind of make up with that with um, with Now or Never, and you know with other support moves. But I think I'm not sure if this is the first four um, four bar move that we have. But um, I really like Dragon Shift. Uh, I kind of. <laughs> I read this and I kind of hoped it would be a thing like the actual Pokemon games, but uh, I think Lance and Dragon will actually shape up to be really, really solid with this. I'd, we don't have many Dragon type Sync pairs um, at the moment, I think. Uh, what do we have? We have Iris and Haxorus, Claire and Kingdra, uh, and I. Drake and Salamence. Is that it? I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but those, those three, unfortunately, aren't the greatest. It makes me sad because I. Claire is my favorite gym leader, but. Uh, this, that's not the here nor there. And then Cynthia, who uh, who I've been waiting for a lot, or uh, for a while. Um, ground type, uh, yeah, ground type Pokemon. Uh, weak versus Ice, Physical Striker. I'll scroll down. Uh, most of the, the stats are here for this. Um, move failure to damage attack up self, speed up, and stand some damage up. And you'll see in a moment we'll move uh, move failure to some damage. Um, because Cynthia has Stomping Tantrum, its powers double if the user's previous move failed, so, um, just like in the games, if your previous move has failed, Stomping Tantrum, uh, doubles in power, which is, you know, it's, it's okay. Got X Attack, which sharply raises the user's attack, again, really solid on the, um, a DPS. Um, Earthquake, I think this is the only single player with Earthquake so far, 
um, but we finally have a ground AoE option. And we have this match is too fun. Raise up the user's speed and critical hit rate. Uh, these stats are sharply raised whenever the user's in Sandstorm. So, Cynthia won't not reach her full potential until she's in Sandstorm, uh, just because of uh, the nature of this match is too much fun. Uh, as you get plus two in um, in Sandstorm. Um, outside of like Acerola though, I don't know of anyone that could use Sandstorm, but I mean that could be an interesting pairing, Acerola and Cynthia, to try to make use of this. I don't know how much of a difference that will make overall, we'll have to wait and see. And uh, with Earthquake of Ancient Lore, um, become Mega Guard Trap until the end of battle. And the passive, occasionally raises Pokemon speed after it uses a move. So, um... Uh, I know a lot of people have been waiting for Cynthia and Garchomp, and overall it seems like she's kind of just okay. Um, we're going to take a look at um, Cynthia and Mega Garchomp now. Because after you use your Sync Move, you Mega Evolve. Uh, typing, say the same, so as weakness. Uh, scroll down, scroll down. And uh, Earthquake becomes the primary move. Uh, still have X Attack, and we get Slash, actually. So, um, I mean, I don't know why we get slash i mean i it makes sense given garchomp's appearance but i mean i guess the for it to combo with this match is too much fun because your crit rate will be higher so you can crit with slash more easily but i don't know i feel like you're just going to be using earthquake more often than not anyway um and again we have like the the same thing so cynthia kind of seems i don't know it seems like lance got the better end of the stick uh, over Cynthia. Um, again, like I said, we'll have to wait and see, but uh, right now I'm not really too wowed by Cynthia and um, Cynthia and Garchomp. So, um, you know, as much as I'm waiting for Cynthia and Gar, I'm still probably going to pull for them just because, you know, favoritism. But, um, I don't know, Cynthia and Garchomp don't seem like the wave to me right now. Uh, with that said, however, I don't think we have too many ground type sync pairs. Um, I know we have. Uh, Hapu and Mudsdale we get from Story, but that's all I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, there's probably some more. Um, but there's also uh, something in here in the paste bin that was not shown. Um, the stuff in the paste bin, I'm not sure how true this is. Um, because there was something down here that I saw in the paste bin earlier when I had first looked at it. And I was like, oh, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, because I did have... Okay, so... Here's, here's like a, a, a huge thing, and again, um, I, I guess you guys might have seen it by now, but I did warn a little bit earlier about, um, if you don't want spoilers, um, you know, you might not want to watch. But apparently, Sogaleo's trainer is going to be your character. Um, again, like I said, I don't know how true this actually is, but um, it's going to start on, so it probably starts on, uh, on New Year's Day, along with Cynthia. And uh, you're going to be Solgaleo's partner. Um, it's moves are supposedly Metal Claw, uh, which isn't bad. Um, Sun Steel Strike um, takes three bars. Uh, ignores passive skills that would reduce the damage of its attack. Ignores passives that would protect the target against a critical hit. Now that kind of ties into what Sun Steel Strike does in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Sun Steel Strike is just has a Mold Breaker attack built into it. If I remember correctly, so that's pretty cool. A brighter sun directly raises user's attack, uh, special attack, and accuracy. I'm not really sure why it raises the. the oh no, uh, special attack is right here. Special attack and accuracy because of focus blast. Uh, again, a three, three bar move. Um, we already know focus blast has um, shaky accuracy as it is. Um, so yeah, that's actually Sogaleo is a really really solid Pokemon. Um, luckily, it is solid because uh, we don't have too many steel types. Um, Wilkstrom and Aegislash. And I think there's another one that I just can't remember right now. Um, Bronzong's chain. Um, I forgot his name. He's in one of the one of the super courses, but um, yeah. And um, Solgaleo's sync move. Uh, shining sunship rate shining friendship sun rays smash um, you know it doesn't have any any other effects but um, and impervious uh, stats cannot be lowered which is very very nice on a Pokemon like Sogaleo. So Sogaleo is looking to be very very powerful 
and um, the reason it's weakness, the role, the reason before I was thinking that Sole would be still with the ground weakness is to promote people into, or I guess encourage you to pull for Cynthia, which um, which I'm gonna do anyway. But uh, yeah, um, hopefully, um, you know, you guys enjoyed this video. I wanna try to start doing more Pokemon Masters content on the channel. Try to do some, I guess, some EX stages. I'll be streaming it as well. Um, you know, EX stages, uh, doing a Soleil event, things like that. So if you guys are interested and want to come hang out during that, um, you know, link my stuff down below. And let me know what you guys think about this, um, about this information. Um, I think it's pretty interesting. I didn't, I really didn't expect your tamer, your trainer to be the, the trainer for Soleil. But, uh, we'll see how that plays out. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.